Hey everyone, I'm Dan Spada, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to insert audio and hyperlinks into your interactive worksheets using TeacherMade. In my last TeacherMade video, I showed you how to take existing worksheets and not only digitize them, but actually elevate them and enhance the student experience by creating interactive worksheets. Since my last video, TeacherMade has actually rolled out some new features that I wanted to show you today. Because TeacherMade has recently announced that they're rolling out something called TeacherMade Pro, which will be free to all educators through June 30th, 2021. And as part of the Pro package, teachers will now be able to insert audio clips as well as hyperlinks, and students will also be able to insert audio responses as well as images. They've also announced that in the next couple weeks, there will be an integration with Google Classroom and Canvas. So let's take a look at how you would insert audio and hyperlinks into your worksheets. Now, if you haven't seen my first TeacherMade video, please click on the link in the description or above, and that will show you how we set all this up. Now, this worksheet is a little bit of a mess, but I wanted to show you all the different features that TeacherMade offers. So to insert audio, you'll see there's a new icon with a microphone. And when you click on it, you'll see that there's an orange square that goes around it and it lets you know that this is part of the pro package. And then you can draw where you want the recording to be and then click on the record button. And then it tells you that there's a maximum recording duration of five minutes. So let's say for instance, I wanted to give my students instructions and instead of writing it out, I wanted to record them. I could just click on the record button and say, in today's assignment, I'd like you to try to do this mental math worksheet and you know, so on and so forth. Then click on the stop button, you can preview it. And say, in today's assignment, I'd like you to try to do this mental math worksheet. And, and then there's other options so you can download that. So after you've recorded, if you wanna download it, you can do that, which I think is a great feature. And then if you're happy with it, you can attach to the worksheet. And then you'll see there's a box right around there. Now, uh, you may have to insert like a text box to tell your students, depending on what age, to click on the audio file directions and then save. And then you know, I can put those together. You can also change the border around your audio file. So you can make it red to really make it stand out. You can make it transparent if you don't want people to see it. And you can also insert a hyperlink. So let's say, for instance, I wanted to have the students watch a video on how to add two-digit numbers. So now I'll take this video, go to share, copy the URL. So now I'll go back to my TeacherMade worksheet, click on link, and then decide where I want to put that. We'll put it, just say, right here. We'll make it a little bit bigger, and then we'll go to edit link. We'll put the URL in. It allows you to test the link. So if you click test link, it'll open up to what the students will see. And here's the video. You can also label it. So if you don't put a label on and you put save changes, it'll just have the link. If you put a label on and we'll just say video and save changes, you'll see that it now says video. And just like before, we can change the color we can change the font, we can change the size, and you can change the size of the box as well. So now you could tell the students, click on the audio file for directions, and in the audio file, you could give them the directions to watch the video, or you could say, then watch the video below. So now, when my students come onto this worksheet, they've got an audio file as well as a link to a video, before they even start working on the worksheet. So now I wanna take a second and show you the other worksheet that I showed you in my first teacher made video. And I wanna show you the way that I'm planning on using these two new features with my students, because I was thinking a great way to use this audio recording would be to create like hints as the students are going through their worksheet. So as they're working, if they need a little bit of extra help and they get stuck on an answer, I plan on creating little audio clips. So I could put like an audio recording for this one, and then I could just click here and say, if you're stuck, try to remember in class when we discussed blah, 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 blah. 
and then I can click stop, attach that to the worksheet, and then with a text box above that, I could put click here for a hint. Make that big so the students can see it. And now if they get stuck, they can click right there and there's a hint. Now, another way that I plan on using the hyperlinks is to link information that the students can use as they're working on their digital activity. So if, for instance, a student is stuck on um, one of these questions and they need more information, I wanna be able to provide them with sources where they can find the information they need to answer the questions. So for instance, let's say they need help with this energy worksheet and I know that the answer to these questions is on this website. I can take the URL, put it in here. So we'll put in the URL. For more help, check this website. And you can be as specific as you want. So you could say, depending on what age your students are, you know, check paragraph three for more information. Again, this is just how I'm planning on using it. I'm sure some of you have really great ideas. Uh, but again, there's so many different possibilities with this new update. And I do just want to show you what this looks like from the student's perspective. You can see if I click on the audio, it pops up with a little play button. Click here and say, if you're stuck, try to remember in class. Uh, and if they click on the link, it takes them right to the website. As I mentioned, students also have the ability to record audio. If they click on the microphone, they get a message that they can record up to two minutes. So they can click on the record button and they can say something like, Mr. Spade, I really didn't understand what to do in the first part. So this is what I did, blah, 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 blah. And they can kind of explain their thinking and click stop. And just like before, they can click save. And you'll see the recording appears up in the top left corner and they can move that around or they can just kind of leave it. Students can also insert images, which is part of the Teacher Made Pro as well. So if they wanted to put a picture in, they can do that. Now let's just say I'm done so you can see what this looks like from a teacher's perspective. And so now I went in from my teacher side and I can click on the audio and listen to what the student had to and say. And they can say something like, Mr. Spade, I really didn't understand what to do in the first part. And it just helps you keep that communication alive with the student so that you can have that back and forth dialogue and really understand what the student was thinking while they were doing this activity. So I really love these new features because I feel as educators, we are beyond simply digitizing worksheets for students. I think we're at a point now where we need to elevate those experiences and really create powerful learning opportunities for students. And some of these tools allow you to do that. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, TeacherMate has said that these features will be available through July 1st um, and the original features of TeacherMade will always be free. So I love this. I think it's really great. You can try it out now for free at teachermade.com. If you are already using some of these pro features, please let us know in the comments section below how you're using them. And if you haven't watched the first video and want to go back, there is a link in the description below, as well as other tutorials and videos. If you know a teacher that might benefit from watching this, please feel free to share it with them. And if you haven't subscribed to the EdTech Show, please take a second, click on that subscribe button, and click on the notification bell so that you get notified every time there's a new video. And if you haven't followed me yet on Twitter, please take a second and follow me at Dan Spada and on Facebook at facebook.com slash the EdTech Show. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.